Have you ever pondered the roots of modern democracy? Ever wondered where the first seeds of individual rights and limited government power were sown? The Magna Carta, signed by King John I of England in 1215, was the first document to limit the powers of the king and protect the rights of individuals. It is the cornerstone of constitutional law and a beacon of human rights that has shone brightly for over eight centuries. The story of the Magna Carta begins in medieval England during the reign of King John I. Known for his ruthless and arbitrary rule, John's reign was characterized by frequent conflicts with the barons, the powerful landowners who constituted the backbone of medieval England's society. The barons, tired of the king's excessive taxation and arbitrary justice, decided to take a stand against his tyranny. In May of 1215, the barons, armed and prepared for battle, met King John at Runnymede, a meadow by the Thames. Not a battlefield, but a negotiating table was the setting of this historic confrontation. It was here that the Magna Carta was born, not from the barrel of a gun, but from the tip of a quill. The Magna Carta was not a declaration of independence or a revolutionary manifesto. It was a peace treaty, a practical solution to a political crisis. It was an agreement between the king and his subjects designed to limit the monarch's power and protect the rights of the barons. The Magna Carta contains 63 clauses covering a wide range of issues, but the heart of the document lay in its commitment to the rule of law. It stated that no one, not even the king, was above the law. It guaranteed the right to a fair trial and protection from arbitrary imprisonment. These principles, radical in their time, have become the bedrock of modern democracy. But the journey of the Magna Carta did not end in Runnymede. It was reissued and modified several times, and its principles were gradually incorporated into English law. Its influence spread far beyond the shores of England, inspiring the American Declaration of Independence and the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. In conclusion, the Magna Carta was a revolutionary document that laid the foundation for modern democracy. It was the first to limit the powers of a king and protect the rights of individuals. It was a product of its time, but its principles are timeless. It reminds us that power should serve the people, not the other way around. The Magna Carta is not just a piece of parchment in a museum, it's a living testament to the enduring power of the written word to shape our world.